Your family Mennonites. Yes. I grew up in Waterloo County, mm -hmm. so I've grown up with Mennonites all my life. Went to school with them. Mm -hmm. Knew nothing. Because Weeb is actually a, a, a Dutch name. Dutch right? name, yes. Yes, well, my ancestors came from Holland. and uh, When I was at the si in the city of Harlingen in Holland, when I registered there was where my, my family comes from, in, in northern Holland. The, the hotel clerk suddenly recognized the name. He says, well, you know, Weeb is a Frisian name. I says, yeah. And he's, it, it is a Frisian name. He said, well, when did you people leave, leave Holland? I said, 400 years ago. <laughs> I was absolutely flabbergasted because, of course, we didn't emigrate to, they didn't emigrate to uh, leave for North America. If, they, if they'd have been smart, they'd have come west, right? But they went east. They went to Poland and lived there for a couple hundred years. And then till the Prussian militarism took over, and then they went to the steppes of Russia and the Ukraine. Until you know Stalinism, they, 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 Stalinist communism, the revolution came along, and and then they left there and came to North and South America. So the the history of the Russian Mennonites is quite different from most of the Mennonites you would have met in Waterloo County, who came came via William Penn to Pennsylvania, and then and then north to Canada after the American Revolution, right? What's the very first thing you remember? Well, the first thing you remember is 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 what I wrote down there. As far as I know. That memory with 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 the with the with the hot water splashing on my sister's leg and her screaming when when we were having a bath, right? Hot water hot water kettles were, were a real danger, right? I mean, it's not like a tap; you have to open and it stays there, right? I mean, kettles you carry around and and hot water boiling water is is is, is a dangerous thing. It's of course a necessary thing in a kitchen, in a farm kitchen. Heated bit stove, but it's also a dangerous thing. That that's the, my first memory is that is that that spout, and I, 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 that's where I start the book. And where was that that happened? That happened in our first in the first house that we lived in, that my father and my brothers built on our homestead, where they cleared the land, they cleared the yard, never been cleared before, right, and built this house. Out of logs? Of logs, of spruce logs that they cut down themselves and chinked with mud, you know, covered with slabs, sawed in a local sawmill. But the windows they had to buy in that house. But I wasn't born in it. I was born in a little shed that they had built first so they could move on to the land and while they built the house. So it ended up as a chicken coop or something? Yeah, it ended up as a chicken you, you use the things for, for different things later. So my mother said it was our chicken coop later. I don't remember this, of course. <laughs> but I was born there. A, a, a mid, midwife, a, midnight, a local late midnight lady who was a midwife, came and helped at my birth. So the house was finished for the winter. And whereabouts was this? This was north of North Battleford, between North Battleford and Meadow, Meadow Lake in, in northwestern Saskatchewan, uh, just north of the North, the north Saskatchewan River. I thought that prairie you know, people moved in, cleared a piece of land, and then stayed there for 18 generations, but you moved around. Well, one of the reasons why we moved around within this community was it, 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 it was very poor soil. Um, it was very stony. The, the, you know, the glaciers covered all of this, and then they moved back. And, and some places they left a lot of stones, and other places they didn't. And, and, and they're in the Speedwell Jack Pine District, there were enormous stones, and, and very many small ones, and just huge erratics, and so on. When the ice melted back, say 12,000 years ago. It just left this particular kind of land there. And when you cleared it, you discovered that there were, there were stones everywhere. And basic, you can still see it, the, the kinds of stones that were piled up at the edges of the fields. There's sort of rows and rows of, of stones painfully gathered off the field. And I remember doing it myself, and certainly my brothers and sisters did. So that was one of the reasons why we moved within the district. We moved four times to try and find better land, but also in farming, as you, as you, as you would know, you, you have to have good water for your cattle, for yourself, and so on. And if you haven't got a good well, you're in real trouble, right? This cuts off at what, about age 12? Age 12. So um, if your grandchildren have already started bugging you about writing the next bit, um, <laughs> are you going to write the next bit? I don't know. I don't think so. Why? Well, at, at the moment, I don't think so. And I, um, it's you're not so stupid about sex in, the, in this book. I really want to see what happens <laughs> in the next part when you finally get a handle on it. <laughs> well, but I mean, the, the first time any kid learns about human beings and sex, 
I mean, yeah, yeah, he's right. I mean, it's terrible. What did they do to each other? <laughs> oh my God! My parents did it seven times, at least. Yeah, yeah. Well, seven times. Yeah, they did. Yeah, or, or whatever. You know, no, it's it, it's interesting that you know. I found out something about it when I was six years old, but I was told by a five-year-old, right? So, <laughs> so there's a lot of a lot of you know things that are being left out. But there's certain vivid things that I can't imagine. I think, well, that's ludicrous. You know, it's it's ridiculous. Why would people do this? <laughs> I think that's the first reaction almost all children have to it's, uh, when they discover human sex, right? I mean, I saw it in animals, whatever they were doing, but um, uh, you, know, you, you know, a child never makes the jump. My mother said children came from God. Okay, well, of course they come from God, so that that's fine. God gives them to us somehow. Maybe they come floating down from the sky or whatever. I don't know. I, I'm not interested in this at the moment. But all of a sudden, my my little nephew comes along and tells me this story. I can't believe it. You know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's it's a funny story. The book is of this earth, a Mennonite boyhood in the boreal forest. I've been speaking with the author Rudy Weeb, and of this earth, published by Knopf Canada.